lucky are Wildcat fans that we had a game on Thursday this week and not yesterday. It I was know. Freezing. Right, I know. But I mean, if you were looking forward to wearing your coat to the game, that would have been a good day to have the game. Well, it was as if the weather gods smiled upon us, <laughs> and uh, you know, they were like, "Well, that's why we we gave you this Thursday game. We've been planning this for months now." Oh, so well, there you go. I feel like that's probably what happened, or maybe it was you that did it. Since no. you control the weather. Nope, not me. I can't control the weather. <laughs> All right, well, show us what you've cooked up for us today. All right, well, let's go ahead and get right into that forecast. Absolutely gorgeous view from Norton. Absolutely wonderful. Just nice, beautiful, clear skies. And very, very blue out there. But we are looking at some issues with fog area wide, but it is a very cold morning as well. Very, very cold. Most parts of the area are right at or below freezing this morning. And like I said, we are dealing with some patchy fog throughout the area, even dense in some parts of the area and even some frost on the grass this morning. But we will start to see that clear within the next couple of hours, and it is going to be a rather sunny and cool afternoon, much like it was yesterday. Now throughout the rest of the area, things are looking very similar. Most of the Ohio Valley is under a freeze warning, which we are as well until 9 o'clock this morning. We have this high pressure system that is basically clearing us out and cooling us off for the rest of the day today. And we are going to stay dry throughout the next couple of days as well. It's just going to kind of meander throughout the area throughout the next few days. Now, we do have another freeze warning that is going to go into an effect at 3 o'clock tonight. And then 9 o'clock tomorrow morning is when it is going to expire, just like it did today. And temperatures, like I said, right at freezing for most parts of the area. 32 for Jackson, 32 over in Somerset and 32 over in Wise as well. Right above freezing over in Paintsville at 33 degrees. So <laughs> everywhere else, no matter which way you turn it, if it's above freezing or below freezing, it's pretty cold this morning. But we are looking nice and clear on all of our traffic cameras, but we are dealing with some areas of dense fog throughout the area, which is why we are seeing a yellow light for our travel forecast this morning. But then by this afternoon, things are going to start to clear up and it is going to be a beautiful day, giving us a green light for that travel forecast. Now, as far as the rest of the day goes, staying very clear of clouds, we could see a couple of clouds coming into play throughout the afternoon, but for the most part, things are going to be nice and clear. And then overnight tonight, we are staying clear again, which again is going to allow for our temperatures to drop right at or below freezing by tomorrow morning and will allow for some fog to build up in the morning as well. But then throughout the rest of the day on Monday, we are going to see clear conditions yet again lasting throughout the area and a very similar situation on Tuesday as well. This high pressure system is basically just going to keep us nice and clear throughout the next couple of days here in eastern Kentucky. We actually don't have any rain chances in our forecast throughout the next seven days. Now, as far as the next 12 hours go, things are looking nice and gorgeous. Great day to be outside. I mean, temperatures are going to be rather mild, only topping out in the mid 50s. So if you want to go hiking, great day to do that. And temperatures by this evening, dropping back down to the lower 50s and it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. So be sure to get your cameras ready so you can go ahead and take a picture of that. Clear skies throughout the rest of the day today, clear skies throughout the rest of actually the next seven days. We are looking at a beautiful forecast for our seven day and the warming trend does start tomorrow. Eventually we'll see our temperatures topping out in the lower 60s, upper 60s by midweek and then 70s return by the week as well. And don't forget about Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot. It is $58.8 million Ooh. and Wednesday's night's Powerball <laughs> jackpot is $57 million. You were watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYMT. Time now is 849.